Hi, and welcome to the Estes Park News Weekend Report. I'm Chris Hazelton. Come and enjoy the whiskey warm-up this weekend, featuring a mix of family-friendly and adult-oriented activities, both Saturday and Sunday. The weekend will celebrate whiskey with tastings, pairings, and special whiskey-themed menu items at restaurants and pubs around town. On Saturday, the Whiskey Tasting Festival will take place downtown and attendees will enjoy live music, unlimited tastings from Colorado distilleries, and short educational seminars. Tickets are available online at visitestespark.com slash events. For families, there will be a children's activity area on Saturday and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. next to the downtown ice rink. Pony rides, face painting, sweet treats, and more will be available for the younger guests. Everyone is also invited to join in Rocky Mountain National Park Centennial Celebration by spending time enjoying winter activities in our national park. Groups can hike or snowshoe, take in the views, and watch wildlife. Winter is a beautiful time to explore the wilderness of Rocky Mountain National Park. For more details about winter activities, events, and special offers, go to visitestespark.com or contact the Estes Park Visitors Center at 577-9900. To celebrate Groundhog Day and to showcase the first place award-winning chili the Stanley Hotel cooked up for the Estes Park Winter Festival, the Stanley Hotel hosted Estes Park's own Groundhog last Monday night to see if he saw his shadow. Mayor Bill Pinkham was on hand, top hat and all, knocking on the door of the Hog's Mound which was located on the front lawn of the hotel. The Groundhog did see his shadow and after the event guests enjoyed $2 draft beers and some award-winning green chili and six more weeks of winter. A seven-member panel of judges selected Miram Standings design to be implemented in a brand new hedge maze on the Stanley Hotel's front lawn. As the winner, Standing will receive two plane tickets, Stanley Hotel accommodations, and two all-access passes to the Stanley Film Festival, which will be held April 30th through May 3rd. The Stanley Hotel, on which the Stephen King classic horror novel The Shining was based, was portrayed in the Stanley Kubrick film of the same name with a hedge maze. However, the hedge maze had never been part of the hotel's landscape design. After fielding questions about where's the maze for decades, hotel owner John Cullen thought that installing a hedge maze would be the perfect act to commemorate his 20-year anniversary of owning the hotel. To select the perfect design, an international design contest was announced in November of last year with a deadline for submissions on January 31, 2015. The 329 entries in the contest were received from 40 U.S. states and all countries all over the world. The maze is planned to be installed this spring and ready to be enjoyed at the third annual Stanley Film Fest. And now here's Chloe Libby with a look at our weekend weather forecast. After our snowstorm midweek that dropped about 6 inches of snow in the Estes Valley, we're in for warmer temperatures and a really nice weekend. On Friday, we'll see mostly sunny skies with highs and lows to mid-50s. On Saturday and Sunday, we have a 0% chance of rain or snow and highs again in the 50s with more bright sunny skies. This will be a great weekend to get out and enjoy all that Rocky Mountain National Park has to offer. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching the Estes Park News Weekend Report. I'm Chris Hazelton and we'll welcome you back here next week to tell you about the Rails in the Rockies train show.